What's going on guys? Frank from Frank Castle Customs. Gonna do another quick video on another one of my personals. This is yet another gun uh, that I had in pieces in a in a drawer uh, from, I had sent it out to get Cerakoted prior to us offering Cerakote in house. And um, it had a decent Cerakote job in camel. It was great camel. However, um, Whoever packaged it did a shitty ass job and it got all scratched up and route uh, back to me. So, you know, I was kind of pissed off and disappointed and I just, I didn't have really have time to deal with it. So it had just been sitting in, in, in the box, its original box for, I don't know, close to a year probably. So the other day I started messing with it and I'm like, you know what, let me, let me rebuild this. Let me get it uh, Cerakoted uh, back to black and uh, do a couple of different parts, order a couple of different parts in black and stuff like that. And I think I want, I just want to leave it black. And this is a CCP10, phenomenal gun uh, right off the bat. But after a couple of tweaks here and there, this is what we end up with. So, what we have here is a CCP-10 factory uh, suppressor sights, okay? Because this one came with a threaded barrel from factory. Then we did the slide work, okay? And like I said, this was in a gray camel, which I did away with. I think it looks badass in black. Killer Innovations comp. Killer Innovations trigger. I still have to install the Killer Innovations um, magwell, which is, I have, and I have the Killer Innovations um, plus five. I also have a TLR 10 on this one and a Hollow Sun 508, 508T. Um, this flashlight, this flashlight's fucking ridiculous. Um, you know, it fits this gun, uh, because of the comp, the comp made that, this particular gun look kind of weird looking, uh, if I didn't have a light attachment or a light attached to it and the light had to be long, it had to be either the Surefire, uh, 300 or it had to be the Streamlight, um, the street Streamlight, uh, which one is it? The, the TO, TO, TO1? Uh, which is the big one. Uh, but anyways, this was new. So I went ahead and picked this up. This is the TLR-10. It has, I think, a 1,000 lumens. And it has an integrated laser as well. And the 508 is the green dot. And like I said, the only thing this thing is missing, this monstrosity is missing, is the magwell. But in order for me to put the magwell, I'm going to have to grind all this down to take the backstrap off and then put a different backstrap from factory. And then uh, before I put the backstrap, I need to put the attachment there that will hold the Killer Innovations uh, magwell. But other than that, man, this is, this is done. Uh, probably my favorite pistol in the shop right now. Uh, it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. Uh, this thing feels phenomenal and uh, you know if you've never shot a CZ before they're phenomenal pistols uh, they have the shadow series they have the 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 07s they have they have a ton of, of uh, CCs that, that are just phenomenal pistols but these people build quality pistols that are good shooting pistols um, a lot, other, a, a lot of their good stuff is in, it's on uh, metal frames, so they're a little bit on the heavier side. This is the competition to the Glock 19, so it's on a polymer frame, uh, but phenomenal pistol, phenomenal trigger, phenomenal, you know, it's, it's well-mannered, good to go. So, if you guys are looking to do something to your CC, um... Shoot me an email, frankcastlecustoms at gmail.com. Uh, you can also um, go on my website, www.frankcastlecustoms.com. 
that'll have a ton of uh, contact information and a ton of, a ton of information when it comes to stippling packages and stuff like that. So feel free to reach out to us if you need something. Again, CCP10 with all the bells and whistles. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching, guys.